Hello and welcome to episode 2 of our Mashinki playthrough. Heading for the fourth era, hopefully. Now, in the last episode, I made a real meal of the start. And I mean terrible. We've got 122 coins, two trains running around here. Uh, we need needlessly built all of this when we shouldn't have been doing. So what I've done is... I will show you now. If you just check our coins, 130. What date are we at? July 1923. Let's uh, let's load this one. Here we go. Pretty much the same layout. I mean, it's almost identical, actually. We'll just close. <laughs> look at all my saves. I was testing a bunch of stuff. Learn some things while testing. Firstly, might as well only run one train. That will save us some cash. We are in 1922 this time with 484 coins. The only reason being really is that we haven't built the uh, the tool works yet from here. Uh, not the tool, the, uh, the logging and uh, sawmill connection. Because we don't need it yet, what we should be doing is... Uh, Hooking up another passenger line so we can make some money. That's what we want to do today. Uh, I want to thank the mask. He pointed out there is now a penalty from cities that are in close proximity. So that's a new thing. It's a new thing for me. I don't know when it was introduced. Uh, when I played it, it was just uh, there was no reason to really run the long, the long routes. So I'm going to accept that as as a bit of a. Uh, a mistake on our our part, or on my part, I should say. I'm not going to blame you guys. Um, but we are going to feed these two towns, Buckingham and Dover, and make them large. Very large, I'm hoping. And then we can branch out and possibly get one of these small villages, they would be, I guess, like Dudley. And we'll send Dover to Dudley. And, and quickly boost them. Uh, obviously, we don't want to send Wigan to Bournemouth. Uh, you probably send Wigan out to either Berwick or Armagh. Buckingham to Bournemouth, maybe. I mean, it's still close. So we've got that to bear in mind. What we want to do today, I think this is a good, good connection here uh, from Hollyhead. Thanks to me not deleting everything at the beginning for one and the fact that uh, I've only got one train running instead of two we should build a station here in preparation now look at the layout of this stage uh, this town we <laughs> there isn't much there but so for some reason it's 12 that's because of this church churches are a good thing look for towns with churches in because they've got like 10 10 people they produce. Now let's think about this. I know this is a bit weird doing it this way. But you'll see why I want to do this. We want the town to grow into our station. As such, we should do a little bit of uh, preparation for when it grows. And allow them to build along where our station is. This is, this is just my thinking. I don't know whether it's a good idea. I just I just feel like planning ahead and uh, getting a couple of cash cows going would be a good idea. Right, so that's that. We can uh, make sure our tracks go through. What I'm thinking is because we're only running a single train, we don't really need to worry too much about having it loop or or passing loops or anything like that we can just get it running and see how it's uh, see how the uh, game handles that and uh, we'll put this in though there you go you see now we've got uh, full coverage beautiful and we do have a uh, we don't have one up here but I do want one down there so let's connect it up now chopping down forests you can see all these forests here are pricey 
yeah, look at that. That's really pricey. But we don't want to stray too far at the same time. You know what I mean? We've, we've really got to kind of make our way there as best as possible. The question is, how much is it? Going? That's expensive because of all that forest. So what happens if we go out that way instead and try and miss more forest? That's 56. And see, saved ourselves a fortune doing that. And we've only got two kinks in the track. Right, so we got that in. We're going to keep it running. In fact, do we want that on fast forward? We probably do, don't we? Probably do. Let's make a loop, because we don't want it reversing. I know we have to cut through there, but hey. We're going to have to get the train around, because I really don't want it to... Uh, and we're going to have to avoid the town this side. It's about as... We go. Is that as tight as it will go? Oh. There's our loops. Eventually, we'll probably double track that and and have more trains running. We have a lot of people already waiting, which is going to help our initial run. Obviously, we want to, and we're we're getting people there too. All right, let's slow that back down. It's going to cost us a small fortune to get everything up and running. I think we can have... Uh, which way... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter which way round this goes. Um, let's go... As long as it goes round one way, I don't mind. Let's go that way. Which means... We'll have a clearing signal there. Which clears the junction. And then that can only go that way. So that's that done. And then we want something similar here. So clearing signal there. We'll have an entrance there. And this can only go that way. And that will clear this entire block. I guess really you could have one go that way too. But you don't want it one way. Once it gets past this signal, it should clear this entire block up here. So we should be good. We should be good. Let's get a depot in. Obviously, we don't want... That kind of works. Sure. We don't want to cut down any trees, if possible. The reason I want to put it there... Is uh, eventually we want to use... Use it to uh, send trains out for the forest there and uh, run our sawmill run. Well, I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> Best laid plans. Well, we're going to struggle with engine. We're not. They're cheaper than I remember. Okay, let's get our uh, trains on. How much are the, wa it's the wagons that are pricey? I mean, it's tempting to... Uh oh, don't spend all your money though. Maybe we shouldn't have done this yet. Oh, it's too late now. You've done it. Silly man. Fast forward. Oh, while we're looking at this, if you look at the these coaches, 8 capacity, 15 tons, and 15 capacity, 20 tons. Having these makes way more sense to me. Like, they only weigh five, 5 more tons for almost double the capacity. Yes, they're pricey, but it works. All right, let's put another one on. All right, just one more. There we go. That payment should do it. Let's uh, let's put that on normal speed, quick. <laughs> Panicking. Let's give our train some orders. Go there first. Brilliant. Then uh, go to. Actually, we can. Uh, here we go. Here, let's put a waypoint in to make sure it goes around this the right way, a hundred percent of the time. Probably not needed, but uh, keep clicking on it. There we go. We'll go that way, and we go into the station, and then when we come this way, we'll make sure that it goes around this loop here. We are going to need a signal, I think, but we'll start that on its journey. Off you go. Our new train. We'll put in uh, a 
a signal here, I think, too. There we go. See, this blocks the entire junction. So should we bring out any trains, we want to make sure that it's not holding up too far back here. Otherwise, it will block this entire area. New train. It's going to pick up. It's going to be absolutely jam-packed in there. Look at that. 244 people waiting. People don't want to go anywhere. And by that, I, well, I mean, they obviously do. They want to travel. But they don't want to go to a specific town. So you're just ferrying them backwards and forwards. Ah, see, that distance is much better. We're almost getting one passenger for one coin. So that's a good distance right there. Do with it being a little further, but I'll take that. I'll take that all day. That's brilliant. Now you can see uh, that distance is actually a is actually a thing, which makes way more sense than when I was first playing this game. So that's come up a long way. But now this is going to give us lots of money. And I'm definitely feeling like, how many people have we got here? 148? We could probably duplicate this train on this line. The only problem we have then is we'll need a passing loop. Or we could just double track it and, and not worry about that. I think a passing loop. As we've seen, it's expensive. It's very expensive. Let's get on board. Look at all that money. Look at it all. <laughs> That's a lot of money. So we're going to go around the loop when we get here. Let's, uh, let's get it on this side. Yes, we go around the loop. A bit janky. <laughs> it's fine. There's our station. Right, let's get out. Now, this town what was St. Is it St. Asaf? St. Asaf's? I would imagine. Um, 150, and it's already carrying 60, so a couple of trips, and that will upgrade, which will be beautiful. How about Hollyhead? Um, 300. So, uh, again, uh, only a few trips, and we're going to upgrade. It's really tempting to put a second train on here, especially given the uh, the amount we're getting from it. It just depends. Look at our money shoot up now. That's brilliant. Meanwhile, over in Dover and Buckingham, this little train is uh, slowly heading towards capacity, which is nice. And how's Buckingham doing? See, now Buckingham is uh, getting very close to upgrading. And how about Dover? Has just upgraded. That's lovely. If we look at uh, Dover now, you see some new buildings. So our goal today, and I think we can do it, is to get our sawmill up and running. Power to the sawmill. Once we get this up and running, and I love the little animation once this gets uh, powered up. I hope it still works, but he'll start uh, cutting these logs. It's pretty cool. There's some lovely little touches in here. Games are uh, coming along quite nicely. As you can tell, it takes you a little while to get through an era. What do you think about sending two trains on this line? Would have to have a passing loop. Here looks like a good candidate. You want it about halfway, right? I guess you could just double all of this and then you've got uh, room for error as it were. And I don't think it's going to cost us too much, providing I get it in the... There we go. Will it cost as much? Because there's not really much forest going there. 32. I think that's worth it. Now, let's uh, set our signals. There, perfect. One there, and one there. Should we duplicate that train? How much will it cost us? Duplicate this train. 128. 
Right, so we definitely want to wait until we've got a bit more cash. Let's let's fast forward. Let me test something. If you just put a road here that isn't connected, will they use it? I guess only time will tell. Oh, wow, look at our money. What even? Yeah, that is going... Right, this is a perfect time to bring him out, too. Uh, duplicate uh, this train, please. Yes. And just go. Go, go, go. Brilliant. There we go. We've got two trains going now. Speed that up. I think this is going to be our money earner. I'm hoping he gets out the station. We could uh, force the issue should he uh, get too close to this signal. I want him to wait for him if possible. He should be held up at the station. Well, he'll be held up until he passes this point here, I believe. Make sure we've got no collisions going to happen. <laughs> that would be a disaster. Brilliant. These are not going to take long to upgrade at all, are they? Not long at all. I'll be intrigued to see whether this works. This bit. Or whether we need to actually get our road going across there. Right, let's think about... Let's think about starting our wood. We chose this one. I wonder if the same applies then. To passengers as it did uh, does to the logging. And do we want another station? I kind of think we did. What are you waiting for? Why is that red? Oh, do you know what we need? Do you know what we need? Let's have a clearing signal there. That's what I think. Like that. Let's have a clearing signal there. And we're going to need another one. There. There. I forgot about that. That could have been awkward. They'd have been sat there all day. And I'd have been spending money and not making any. Do I want to share the station? I really don't. I would like... Where's our... Where's our... Sawmill. Are we going for this one, I think? Is that the closest? Yeah. And it's a fair distance. So maybe we won't be penalised. Should there be any uh, penalty for doing that? Let's bring you down how do we want this I think because we've got to think about the loop right I mean I'll take that just there that way you can start filling up with logs I'm hoping and then the sawmill and then we've got the tools so if we go like there this can be a double station when it comes to it double platform sorry not, not a double station we might do one one side one the other we, we can mess around with that now how much is it going to cost us it's a lot of forest to go through so we want to avoid the forest a little bit so we could go about there that works make sure we don't run out of cash that's pricey take it though Obviously, we're going to need uh, to run a track down here. Let's run out this way. We don't worry about anything else. Then, uh, okay, not like that. Gotcha. And then uh, there's our loop. Brilliant. Ooh, check your money, Grand. You're just plowing through it. Might as well run that a bit faster while we're building. Make sure we've got our funds coming in. Now the trains are going. See, we've already saturated that ginormous uh, crowded platform there. We, we, we had like 200 odd people waiting. And just two trains like that. And we're already uh, already through it. But that's a good... That's I think that's worth it. I definitely think that's worth it. So we're going to need a a loop here for now okay you can't do it like that can you make sure we don't run out of cash there brilliant 
Uh, we're going to need to come off here. I guess ideally straight into there would work for now. Let's put our signals in. We're going to go that way around, which means we'll need clearing signal there. Blocking signal there. Same here. Oop, not that way around. There we go. That should do us. Because if we can get the uh, if we can get that running now, I would be happy. Okay. So they're running light now. They really are. I'll be half tempted, you know. To bring uh, one of these in now that we've uh, exhausted the platforms and turn that into our uh, it's carrying 17 coins at the moment turn it into the the login train that's what I'm tempted to do there's only two people waiting now yeah let's do that get you to there Might as well get the money out of it. Let's select him. Right, off you go. No, don't load. I said skip next. You silly train. Stop picking people up. You know what? Stop. Let's reverse him. No, not like that. I keep doing that, don't I? That's not how you do that. Reverse him. Go to depot and uh, ignore next signal. And let's hope we don't crash everything. Oh, there's we're good. I'm I'm gonna have to lose that that money. I think it's probably a bit excessive doing that. But uh, it, it's a waste of a train, really. We might as well use him. There we go. Now let's sell all of your wagons with people on. Done. Now we want to get rid of all your orders. Is there just a clear orders? Or do we have to do it one by one? Well, let's just... Yep, we have to do it. One by one. That's fine. That's... There we go. Okay. We're going to change him into our login train. And I guess, because there's going to be a decent amount waiting for us, we get this up as long as possible. We want info to see just how much we can carry. So we can carry up to 168 tons. Do we want the bigger ones? Let's have a look. 15 tons, capacity 7. Oh, that's... No. We want logs. Logs only. That's our only choice. <laughs> so that makes that easy. Good job. Uh, we don't want it to go past 6. Okay, so when it's full, that's too many. So let's sell one of those. We don't want it over capacity. There we go. Just about under. So we can carry 5. Let's play that. And let's give him some orders. We can close that now. Give him some orders. You need to go there first. Then I want you to go here, I believe. Yep. Then to there. Then um, go there. Oh, missed it. There. Better. All right, off you go. You start your uh, logging journey. What's his capacity? 35. We're probably going to need two on there straight away as well. 
Well, I said that last time, didn't I? Well, maybe, because we can expand these like a nursery. It's, it's really tempting. It is really tempting. You know what? This would disconnect the station. What? What station? Why would it disconnect this? I don't understand. There then. <laughs> I don't. Why would it disconnect the station? I don't get that. Right, what extensions do we have? Freight, you see, we need to wait till we can get uh, some planks under, some plank coins. But once, once we do have uh, that, loading speed will just help us in the long run. Is that, what's that? Oh, that's that train. No, you're out now. You're fine. So that will get logs underway. What I really want to do here, if possible, well, we can't afford any of these. Look, they all take wood. We can't do that. We can't do that, guys. Not yet. Not yet. We'll need to uh, start producing some coins. As soon as possible. We're right down to Dover. Look at that. Our network could almost join up. And we could send trains backwards and forwards. That that was a, a, a kind of handy move that I didn't really anticipate. If I'm absolutely honest with you, I I, I, I should say, I should have said I planned that, but I didn't. But this is where we're going to go and uh, uh, collect our coinage. Just here, we need to send. What do we need to send? So four planks from our sawmill over here will create two blank coins wood coins i don't know what to call them wood coins i guess and then we need to get coal underway as well which i think we can use this one down here and uh that will start our coins for coal coal coins We don't make any cash from these. This is what I was... Uh, but we are going to start doing this, which is nice. Oh, here you go. Here's the little animation. And that's kind of cool, right? Look, he cuts the uh, cuts the logs up, and then they split and slide down there. I love that. Can we get in this? Oh, that's kind of cool. There goes our uh, freight train. That was a passenger train. Way he goes to get some more to get some more logs. How many logs have you got to? We might need a couple, to be fair. But we can duplicate duplicate that quite easily, which means we're gonna need a passing loop. So let's do that then, and we'll try and find uh something that isn't gonna cost too much. Obviously wanna what would be the best play? I guess we could almost just double track it all the way, right? Let's think about that. And we probably could. We probably could. Don't do that. But we're going that way round. You don't need to do that. Just do this. That's all you got to do. Oh, now I've gone silly. All you need to do is a passing loop. Don't need to go crazy. There, that's fine. What I'm thinking is we have another station this side, and I'll show you how to connect those. If it still works like that, I don't know. So we want to go that way. That way. There we go. There's our passing loop. Then we, we will... I guess we could segment it so we can bring trains on and use this bit of track. Is that six? Yeah, that's six. And we can do that kind of thing. I kind of like the idea. Yeah, we, we, we can 
I think we can manage to. So let's duplicate this guy. It's only a hundred. Is only a hundred coins? Off you go then, sir. There we go. We've got two uh, freight trains running now. Collecting logs. We're just throwing logs on the platform. and love it. Absolutely love that. It's creating 1.5 logs a month? A day? Possibly these figures are, are a day. And yeah, we got no penalty here. So if you've got a short run with uh, any of the industries, then that will probably be a good idea to, to run them. Okay. Keep an eye on this. We'll have a look back at Dover. Dover is doing good. Wow, you're already up to 450 stage. Well, that's good news. Yep, and you're growing good. See the people. Yeah, now it's it's getting a decent chunk of people on there. And obviously, the more the more he's picking up, the uh, the quicker the towns will grow. Uh, both ways. Well, that's lovely. I like that we can connect that up as well. But I need to think about what we're doing here. I said I was going to build... What are you waiting for? I thought it was, they were holding each other up. I panicked a little bit then. But they're not. They're good. They're good. He's just unloading. Oh yeah, we can, we can manage... We can manage two uh, freight trains. Does it slow him down? Are they timed about right? I need a drink of tea. Super thirsty. I think that's about close enough. Let's uh, let's uh, build a two-platform station. We've, we've definitely got the money here. Uh, decorations don't flash like that way keep flashing uh, we don't want trees or shelter we don't care about that let's put that there and and there and then we can build more of a station along there I think if that's if that's our is that how you do it I can't remember I think so. I think that's now classed as one station. Fairly sure. Oh, I didn't... I wasn't keeping an eye on the money there. Someone should have told me. So that should now all be one station. That is brilliant. Excellent source. Now our... Our train that's going to take planks can, uh, can go off that way. We, we're probably going to need... Oh, yes. Brilliant money. Thank you. Right then, we have a new quest. Everything's going great. I'm not going to ever pause this, I don't think. It's because during my rambling, we can be making lots of money. Delivery of timber. Everything's going great. Our bosses are happy. And that's quite rare. I hope it stays uh, like this for a long time. If you're interested, I have another offer for you. He sounds like he's like doing a back alley deal or something. Jack, you're a bit weird. Our sawmills are producing more timber than our horse-drawn carriages can handle. I can't see any horse-drawn carriages. Our warehouses are almost full. We need you to connect our sawmills and local tool works by rail. Deliver 200 units of timber to any tool works. I don't want to postpone it. Can do. So do we just close that then? Brilliant. So let's uh, let's get this stationed up. We're going to need... We might only need one for this. But uh, I don't think it will matter too much. It will be quicker to get the train to come around here, right? That will be cheaper. Well, it wouldn't be cheaper, would it? It doesn't really matter. The, the track's already there. But I think... Uh, I think sending it around here will be fine. So let's hook... No, that's not a station, is it? Let's hook that up. Like so. 
Let's get that. Oh, we want to avoid as much forest as possible. We go through that bit there. I think that's good. Not like that. Oh, actually. There kind of works. Like that. Very cheap. Then through here. What's this? Uh, the Ministry of Industry... The Ministry of Industry and Trade is offering subsidies for medium-sized companies to grow. Right now, we're too small. To get it, we have to own at least six trains. Otherwise, they'll uh, they'll think we're just a few people in a cupboard. We are indeed a few people in a cupboard. That is our office. Well, that's just going to happen naturally, isn't it? We don't need to worry about that too much. Let's send us round here for our loop. Because I don't want any reversing going on. Because it's too slow. Even though it's a very short distance. You're going to need another loop here, unfortunately. My money's okay, though. I mean... We could technically share this, right? We could come out like this. Couldn't we? Does that give us enough... Oh, you're so close to working. You're so close. We could uh, do that. Maybe. And then connect it to there. Oh, you can't. That's a shame. Could we send it back out then, maybe? Like, we're at the point now where we're not spending too much money to do this, so... I mean, we're making more than, than my mistakes <laughs> are costing us. <laughs> yeah. Right, can we get round there? We'd have to, like... Is this worth it? Wouldn't this just be better to just build another loop? Stop being... Just build another loop. That's probably the best bet. I think I'm being overly gamey on that. There we go. Just perfect. But we are going to need to bring uh, trains over to here somehow. Do we do it from here? I mean, it matters not, right? I mean, we don't have to... Well, we still would have to build another track. We'd still have to go along like that. But that's fine. I've, I've made a decision. So we're going to need a signal... Here and here, two-way. That should be fine. Uh, this needs to be one way that way. No, we'll change this. We'll go that way this time. I know we, I've changed all my mind and I don't like it going that way. Oh dear. I don't like it going that way. I should have just, I should have just hooked here. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're watching a pro right now. By pro, I mean not at all. We can go there, can't we? We can go there. Go there. Oh, that's, that's a design. Get rid of this. Just come out one more like that. That was a bit... I'm, I'm a bit terrible at uh, thinking ahead here. Then we can do this. I prefer that. I just do. Makes more sense to me. Right. That means uh, you're going that way. That way. That way. How much money? We, we don't have much money, do we? I thought we would have had more money. And that is towards the end of the episode, which is a bit sad. But I I think we should uh, at least... Let's fast forward that. We should at least get our, our first plank train running and see if we can make his way over there. I think he can. I think he's good. But they don't cost much, do they? I'm not sure how much the... Uh... We could uh, upgrade some, some trains to Baldwin's eventually which will be nice but they cost a lot to run we're just going to use the porters for now and we need planks 
So these are 20 each. Oh, mind you, that's, that's fine. How much? Okay, we're good. We're good still. Can we do one more? Ooh, really? Just three? Really? Ooh, that's four. So, so yeah, because you can only have three. I, It's not much over. Up to... Oh, I don't know the, the, oh, oh, <laughs> I don't know what noises I was making there. I'm, I'm going to say no, since it's the end of the episode. And we're going to give him some orders. Let's give you some orders. You're going to start with going in this platform. I hope. Then you go uh, this way. Then to this station, a uh, platform station, and then finally to there. Go. There we go. Off you pop. Will he find his way there? That is the quest. Oh, we're going to need some blocking here, aren't we? Silly man. Otherwise, he's never getting out. We need a uh, two way there. That one's fine, that's blocking, that's all fine. This is blocking, that's blocking. Good stuff. We should really have one there too. I think we're good. I think we're good. Two way, one way, yep, yeah, brilliant. He seems a bit small, doesn't he? I want to wait till he gets off the line, otherwise we're going to be struggling a bit. Let's speed that up, make sure nothing goes terribly wrong. Okay, he goes around there, goes around there, he can leave. Oh, that is beautiful. That was like synchronized training. Can he get off the track? Beautiful. Made it. We did it. Now, let's put another one on. Let's slow that down. I don't know. That's paused. Don't pause. Let's duplicate this guy for 100. Is that all? That's a bargain. And uh, away you go. I think we're good. We have our sawmill running for the first time. Oh no, that's our tools. We have our sawmill and our tool works running. We are, are going crazy. We are going crazy. Let's have a look in here. Isn't that so cool? Here comes our train. Should we do a little screenshot? Wait, wait, wait. Quick, collect our reward. Beautiful. Oh, come on, train. Come into the station and we'll be looking at our tools. Okay, here comes our train. Looking a bit terrible out there at the moment. I want a screenshot before we end. Brilliant. There we go. That's been an episode. I hope it, uh, hope it went a bit better than the first one. I still managed to bulldoze a load of stuff that I put in the wrong place. But we have our basis up and running. We've got to get coal running on the on our return. I'll probably let it play a little bit in between. Not too much. We're only in the 20s uh, in 1926. But yeah, things are moving. We'll uh, keep an eye on our, our four towns that are now uh, connected up. And I clicked off the map again. <laughs> I'm getting good at that. It's terrible. Curse abounding, please. So let's watch our uh, newly purchased trains running running round. Is he coming out? Or is he stuck? Where's he go? Oh, he's there. He's fine. He's through. He's through. All right. I thought that was going to be a disaster. Bit of a freight hub going on here. I like that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. You see what I did there? Welcome aboard. Um, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Throw a like on it if you like this uh, series. I do. I do plan to get to the fourth area. 
rather quickly, which is why I'm going to let it play in between episodes so we can have lots of cash to play with or, or, or tokens of any kind for each for each episode and just build, 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 hopefully. And until then, take care.